Balderdash. Every detail I just told you was nothing but the truth. You were suffering a fever dream and nothing more. Are you calling me a liar? No, I don't think you're a liar. Wait, really? But I do think you're a nincompoop that's off his rocker. The audacity! Okay. Repeat yourself again, but this time, listen to yourself. Fine! But I will be doing the posh voice again. Oh god, not the posh voice again! It was a cold night, the time exactly 9.20pm. I was sat reading my literature, and the cat was sat on the chair opposite me, and I was having myself a nice hot chocolate. The hot chocolate consisted of a marshmallow, it was double whipped, and chocolate sprinkles. Truly, the best cup of hot chocolate one could make. Being a tad loquacious, are we? Every detail counts, chum! Suddenly, I was distracted by a light, a green light. I did ponder this phenomenon, but I felt that the hot chocolate I was drinking was causing me to see this false apparition. I decided to close the curtain, set down my cup, say goodbye to my fluffy companion, and go to bed. And then you jumped it all Suddenly, I heard a clatter come from well, the front room. I bravely went to investigate, and before me stood a horror. A horror so horrifying it horrified me. An alien. Oh my god, it's even worse the second time! A six foot green alien was trying to eat my cat. Its appearance startled me. Huh. I pondered what this alien could possibly do to me. Perhaps it had a ray gun that it could use Fuck to destroy it. me in any second. Or it could use its psychic powers to control my mind and harm me. <laughs> it is true these thoughts gave me fear, but I had recently been going to the gym. No, you haven't. Yes, I had. No, you haven't. Yes, I had. No, you haven't. Shut up. Seizing the moment, I rushed into attack, but its movements were too swift. I was at the end of my rope, and as it came forward towards me, I braced for the end. Well, continue. Oh, right. And then I opened my eyes, and I looked up. I saw that the alien went for my hot chocolate instead of me, and then... I thought to myself, this alien didn't come to harm me, never did. It only wanted to relax. But there's one thing that I still don't understand. You haven't explained to me what happened after that. Well, it's simple, really. We had a hot chocolate together, like chums, of course. To reiterate what I just said, that was the stupidest load of dribble I've ever heard. What? What's so hard to believe? Everything! Firstly, the alien. Secondly, you staying up late. And thirdly, the cat. We don't even own a cat. But there was an alien. So where is this alien then? But he's right there, of course. <laughs>